Here's a mathematical function of two variables, uh, f of x and y is equal to this. Uh, sinc over here, by the way, uh, the sinc function is this sine of pi x divided by pi x. So uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to make a 3D plot of that function. So usually when you have a function of two variables, then uh, a 3D plot's a pretty good way to present that. So what I've done here is written out some non-vectorized code uh, to evaluate that function. And so because we have two variables, we need two for loops. So what I have is uh, a vector x, which uh, ranges from minus 5 to 5, and there's 100 of them. And similarly for y, pre-allocated a matrix result uh, to be the size of my inputs so that I can uh, avoid having to resize the matrix throughout my loop, so that makes it a bit faster. Uh, then a double for loop here, so a for loop inside another for loop, so I iterate over one dimension, and then inside that iterate over the second dimension, and calculate the result. Now here's something you might not have seen before, these uh, tick and tock commands. And so what these do is basically allow you to time how long it takes for your code to run. So if I execute this cell, remember it's uh, control enter to do that, then I get this little thing over here. Elapsed time is this, 0 0.15 seconds, or close to 0 0.15 seconds. So that's how long it took for this code in here to run. So this is a basic sort of simple kind of way that you can actually benchmark your code and, and compare two different versions and see how long it takes for them to run. So first thing I'm going to do is show you how to write that as vectorized version. So I'm going to keep similar sort of structure to what I had before. Tick and tock so we can see how long it's taking. And uh, pre-allocate my, or allocate, define my uh, input ranges, x and y. I'm going to use a function called mesh grid. So let's uh, have a look at the help for that. So mesh grid does this, generates x and y arrays for 3D plots. And so basically it's a convenient way for you to evaluate uh, functions of two variables, or three variables even, uh, for generating plots and allow you to write uh, vectorized code. So you can have a read through uh, that example in, or that text in your own time. What I'm going to do is this. Use it to generate x and y matrices, mesh grid, x and y, now, with those, I can evaluate my um, entire matrix all in one go, like this. Notice the use of the dot versions of the operators here. So there is vectorized version uh, of code that achieves exactly the same thing. So let's run that control enter. Okay, notice how much faster it is. We've uh, saved a considerable amount of time in writing this as vectorized code instead of non-vectorized code. And that's true in general, that uh, you get a big speed advantage by using vectorized code. So let's do a 3D plot. So the basic plotting function here, which I'm going to introduce to you, is this surf. It stands for surface plot. And so surface plot requires x matrix, uh, x vector, y vector, and then the matrix of positions above those coordinates. So you can go and read about surf in the manual here, and it tells you how to interpret the various forms of, of calling it. So I'm using this one here. So if you want to go and, and read that. So the, the basic uh, thing is that the vertices on the surface are given by this. Anyway, if I run that, there is my 3D plot. So I can actually grab this rotate tool here and drag it around. You can have a look. I can stick some labels on the axes. And the new one, Z label, which is helpful if you plan on rotating so you don't get lost. So there it is. That's the basics of uh, 3D plotting or evaluating a function of two variables and producing a 3D plot of it.